A woman from the Midwest followed her dreams to Florida, but it's not what you'd expect for the former real estate broker. Uh, no, it is not. Mm -hmm. Wish you Scott Heidler spoke with the Python Huntress. This is a labyrinth python. Amy Seawee is probably not what you expect to be the self-proclaimed Python Huntress. Wow, I have got to go down and see what is going on with these pythons. And so I went on vacation, I caught a python, and I was hooked. Obsessed with snakes as a child, she was a real estate broker in Indiana, but packed it all in. If I said, listen, I've got to go to Florida. I've got to figure out what it's going to take to become a python hunter. And she did, and now runs her own business, taking people out on hunts. Yeah, that's how you do it. You leverage them like that. Once I got here, you know, I learned about the devastation of the pythons, and I learned about everything that's happening with the ecosystem, and then not only the pythons, but all of the invasive species. Oh, man. Pythons are oh, not indigenous man. to Florida. Their introduction and rapid growth as an apex predator disrupts the natural food chain. It was for the thrill initially, but then it really became more of a conservation effort. Mostly found in South Florida, the invasive pythons are making their way up north here in Brevard County, seeing a lot more of them. There was a 12 footer found just earlier in the month. It's an ecological concern. Oh, they are definitely moving. They're following the food. It took us so long to figure this out that, that it was a problem because they're so cryptic and they're so hard to find. And it's almost like it's too late by the time you know they're there. Look at her. Part of her role as she sees it, educating those she takes out on hunts and just how delicate the ecosystem is and the disruption when it's invaded. In Brevard County, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.